Today, we are going over one of the most used tools that you will ever use in your hacker journey, aka ethical hacker, not in quotes, L literally ethical hacker. I don't know why I did quotes on that. In your ethical hacker journey, which is InMap. Now, InMap stands for Network Mapper. So in my terms, how I'm going to explain it, is you scan a network, you scan some hosts, uh, you find some vulnerabilities, vulnerable services, and then you exploit them. Um, but InMap has an official definition on their website. So this is the official definition on their website, and the URL is inmap.org slash book slash intro.html. So according to the official website, InMap Network Mapper is a free and open source utility for network exploration and security auditing. Many systems and network administrators also find it useful for tasks such as network inventory, managing service upgrade schedules, and monitoring host or service uptime. InMap uses raw IP packets in novel ways to determine what hosts are available on the network, what services, application name, and version the hosts are offering, what operating systems and OS versions they are running, packet filters slash firewalls are in use, and dozens of other characteristics. It was designed to rapidly scan large networks, but works fine against single host. InMap runs on all major computer systems, and both console and graphical versions are available. You kind of get an idea of what InMap is, Network Mapper scans a network or a host, whichever you want. And InMap offers many different types of scans or options as they call them to get the desired results that you want. InMap can be divided into the following scanning techniques. Host discovery, port scanning, service enumeration, OS detection, and scripting interaction with the target service, um, which uses the InMap scripting engine, or the NSE, which is very useful, but we're going to go over that in a second. We have Kali open. You can use whatever. I don't care. Windows, Linux, um, Mac. I don't care. As long as you get the job done, it doesn't matter. So for InMap, we have a target IP. So just to scan that target IP, just saw, you know, normal, just the extremely basic uh, command will be Seems down, girl. It's up. Okay. Uh, I guess we had to ping it first to kind of get it going. So, this is the basic in-map scan. Shows all of the... Um, available services. Um, obviously, all of them are open because we are using Metasploitable, which is vulnerable, made vulnerable, so all of these are going to be open. So now, to get a little bit more in-depth with it, we can go, and it may take a bit because this has a lot of um, vulnerable services. So we have port. Port number 21, 22, 23, 25, blah, blah, blah. We have state open, obviously. We have service. So, like, if you don't know the port number by heart, FTP, SSH, Telnet, SMTP. And then we have the version. Um, VS FTP 2.3.4, open SSH, Debian, um, Linux, Telnet D, Apache, HTTP D, um... Metasploitable root shell. So, yeah, we just have all of the versions, as you can see. V. That is what the dash S capital V is for. It's for the version. InMap um, usually does TCP scans by default. So, if you want to do a UDP scan, you do. And I keep on spelling InMap wrong. In map, thank you. Oh, <laughs> pseudo.
Do 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 do. It might take a bit. It might take a bit. Three hours later. Okay. Um. That's just the UDP. How to do uh, UDP. It's just you. And we're gonna move along and then wait for that to work its magic. Um, if you're scanning a network or host, um, you probably don't want the uh, EDR or SIEM to catch that you are scanning it and you want to be um, stealthy, if you will. You're never gonna guess it. Capital S, who would have thought? Dot two dot fifteen. Yep. Oh, pseudo. And that was just like a stealthier scan, uh, because it doesn't complete the um, TCP connection. So if you want to be a little stealthier. Uh, that's your that's your way to go. So if you want to be really really stealthy, um, so the network admin cannot see your real IP, you can set up a decoy IP, so that it kind of confuses them, being like, oh, um, this traffic is coming from so many IPs, I don't know which one it is, and they're all fake. Um, so to do that, we do. D for decoy. If you couldn't tell, these commands are really obvious. And then you put in an IP that you want to be the decoy. So like... Oh, let's not do 9, let's do 0. And then you put in your real IP. Pseudo again, I keep on forgetting. Then, yeah, just pretty much does the same thing, but it has a decoy IP. Now, oh wait, let's check on our, oh, no, still scanning. And I just checked on the UDP and it is still scanning. Um, so now there is something called in SEs, in map scripting engine, in map scripts. So, this is something called NSE libraries. It is located at inmap.org slash NSE doc slash lib. And um, this is basically just a bunch of scripts. But what we are looking for as hackers, well, so like, you can see these, these are all like the scripts, um, checks for vulnerabilities, like for example, checks if an FTPD is prone to CVE, blah, blah, blah. Um, test for the presence of pro FTP. It checks for um, VSFTPD 2.3.4 backdoor which is what I actually exploited in my last video, if you want to check that out. Metasploit, uh, I'll link it in the description, but yeah, I actually exploited that one. Yeah. So instead of just running all of these individually, which would be a pain in the butt, we do sudo inmap dash dash script vuln ip. And I did this earlier because it took a while to run. So for example, it shows the ports, port, state, service, and what it is vulnerable to. Open the back door, which we exploited in the last video, CVE 2011-2523. CVE 2015-4000 TLS protocol contains a flaw that is triggered when handling the 
the fee Hellman key exchange defined with the DHE export cipher. With CVE 2014-3566, this SSL protocol 3.0 as used in OpenSSL through blah blah and other products uses non-deterministic CBC padding, which makes it easier for man-in-the-middle attackers to obtain clear text data via a padding oracle attack, aka the poodle issue. I uh, found the following possible CSRF vulnerabilities. DVWA, obviously. And if you don't know what DVWA is, it stands for Damn Vulnerable Web Application that you can exploit. Uh, practice SQL injections on cross-site scripting. Uh, things like that. Okay, and I'm checking on our UDP scan and it's still not done. So, you get the point. SU. And, hold on. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a go a little further with this. I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get a little um bonus round with y'all. Okay, hold on. Let's let's go back. Like unscripted. Okay, so for example, we're doing network enumeration, right? Version. Um, what do we want? So for example, copy, open Firefox, paste, but we put at the end, exploit, go, which is the same, pulled up the same thing, whatever. Okay, so like Rapid7. SSH user code execution. This module connects to the target system and executes the necessary commands to run the specified payload via SSH. If a native payload is specified, the appropriate stage will be used. Um, and this is the Metasploit module. Do you execute it via Metasploit? Um, let's see what else there is, though. Script first checks the version of the target SSH service to confirm that is running. To confirm that is running OpenSSH version 4.7p1. The script sets up the necessary parameters for the brute force attack using a list of username and passwords from a wordless file. Use this exploit, you must have Metasploit framework installed and configured. You also need to have a target system with open and SSH, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this goes through the whole thing. Go off. Pwn tools library. They're also using Metasploitable too, and they got a video. Um, shout out. This guy. I don't want to mispronounce your username. So that is pretty much it for in-map, some network enumeration. Um, yeah, try some stuff out in a lab, obviously. Um, see what's up, see what you can do, see what services you can enumerate, see what exploits there are for them. Yeah, just a little in-map basics. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, punch that like button in the face as they say, and I will see you in the next video.